When you want a spacecraft to enter an atmosphere, make sure you protect the entire thing with heat shields. <laughs> and do not use substandard parts <laughs> like I have by here. This was an advertisement by Jet Junkyard Parts. Hello guys, I'm Orbator, your Welsh engineer, and welcome to Kerbal Quest Part 35. Eve, Earth, Air, and Fire Bears. <laughs> well, I wanted to do an air base around Eve, and here we are. Now we've got our Kerbals. If you don't know, you can add your Kerbals or have your comments read. In this in this episode, we've got Dijing Da Jong, who's the pilot Paul, Stefan Gurovsky, Stephen Moody, 1983, and Cole Swanke. And as you can tell, they're on an airbrace on the way to EVE. If you're not sure, if you haven't seen the Lathe mission, we sent some Kerbals to Lathe. The Lathe is a moon around Jewel, it's got atmosphere as well. And then we used balloons to make it float within the atmosphere. So there we have an airbase floating around the planet, taking it wherever we want to go. But first off, we have to get our way on our way to EVE. And in this base, I decided to re-engineer a bit. I did try to engineer it so it'd go underwater, so it'd be, it'll float above the clouds, it can land on land because it's got land legs, and then it can go under the ocean. However, things fail, as they always do when you're playing Curable Space Program. No, I couldn't get the parts to stay up there. The balloons would smash the thing apart whenever I tried to submerge it. So that was a base which I can't do, apparently. Perhaps I could when I go to 1.2. Anyway, as you probably know, I also read comments in this video as well. So as I get our encounter with Eve, so we get into the atmosphere. Because basically what I want to do is use the heat shields, do a grav, no, an air braking maneuver. That, that means that you use the atmosphere of Eve to slow the craft down to get either into orbit or you can use it to land as well saves a lot of fuel and but we do have plenty of fuel anyway anyway let's get into comments first one is from monkey tail first comment woohoo this is the first time ever first comment awesome stuff now head to the race from cracker racer i assume that's right or wait a please add me as a cripple on any mission except a sun landing why not i hear sun landings are quite hot this time of year <laughs> no, obviously though, someone who wanted to walk on the sun, <laughs> someone who asked to ask the Kerbal, so it walks on the sun. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible, however, we will try. We're not. We will. Well, if I get my words right, this is Kerbal Quest, and the quest to do anything is best to do anything we can try. And as I said, I'm going to try to do this air braking. It could go wrong, it could go right. Because we're entering the atmosphere at higher speeds. So I decided at this point we'll decouple the entire rocket. However, the landing spot has changed. I wanted to be on the equator so we could meet up with some of the bases at some point. So our decide here is we'll line both craft with the prograde and retrograde. And what we'll do, you'll use the rocket because it has control and push the main base a little so it just enters the atmosphere just right. Because we don't want it to fully enter the atmosphere. We want it to sort of like graze, slow down, go into slow, lower orbit, and then come back and, well, basically enter the atmosphere again. And then second time, you know, it'll be slower then, so then it won't explode, as we'll see in this episode. Anyway, from Joe Alberta. Why don't you send me to, mo the, to the mohole? Not mad, but wouldn't it have been easier? Keep up the great work. Yes, it would have been easier. Last episode, we went to Moho. We went to explore the mole hole. Where there's a big hole there where we think the Kraken lives. And Joe Alberta was already on Moho. But we had to send other Kerbals. These were expert hole. <laughs> they were holy Kerbals. <laughs> Batman. Uh, anyway, from Matas Pavel. Please add me as a Kerbal. Great work. Thank you. And yes, you'll be added as a Kerbal after you've done your training. From Creeper 20085, and do oh, damn it. Yes, I had problems entering it. So I realized that we're going too fast and explosions ensue and whatnot. 
luckily I quick saved and I'll quick load and find out the best altitude. I decide we could I could have used the rocket, you know, going to previous save, use the rocket to enter orbit and then come in to a lower speed entering the atmosphere, but no, I wanted the challenge to get this into landing or into the atmosphere of Eve. Eric Cooper 2085, thanks for adding me as an orbiter. It means a lot. Keep up the amazing work. No problem. And there he goes, if you haven't done it, could you make a man-based tutorial? I have made a man-based tutorial. If you could, please link and comment. Done that. <laughs> From Matthew McGowan, that moment when a YouTuber says, your name. <laughs> uh, anyway, from Connor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, one. I realize you commented on my comment last video, and I was aiming for it to be a Star Wars themed. I didn't realize that. Oh, look at this. We could have saved four Kerbals if we knew that part would survive. But at last, let's try again. This time, I decide, right, let's push the base on the other direction, so it goes a bit higher in the atmosphere, perhaps that would save it. And the last attempt, we tried to use the balloons to slow the spacecraft or the base down. That did not work. From Vith 2003, so From Bree Singh. Hey man, you gonna be streaming tomorrow? I did, I did on a Sunday. If you don't know, I stream, live stream on Sunday evenings. Not all the time, I missed one lately, so... And Christmas is coming, which is a sort of like a big deal, so things get headache. So don't be surprised if there's no stream sometime or other. And from the Poplar Team... Poplar... Poplar the Team Killer. Or the... Uh, I forget it right someday. Poplar the Killer Team. I am now a Kerbal. Yay! You always were. You always were. In your heart. Joanne Sommer. John, John, Ann, Sam, Sommer, 14th comment, love the vid, keep it up, no problem, the end of man, 36YT says, hello there, I am Dank Meme, my best, MLG air horn sounds, okay, that's crap, but it's gonna have to do, because we can't carry on with the air horns while, <laughs> while the face is exploding. <laughs> Uh, let's try again. Uh, from Greg Anderson, great video, thank you very much. From Gian Rathgeb, thank you for putting me on a mission, no problem. From Colleen Porstian Sons Vlogs, hello, can I be in the next mission? Please! Well, you won't be in this mission because, as I said in the last video, if you ask to be added in this video, you'll go on to be added. No, you won't be added in a thing mission, but if you ask to go somewhere and I can't put you there, then you wait until I do a mission there, and then... And so on and so on. Unless you ask to be a Kerbal, and I've got somewhere to go, I haven't got many Kerbals, I'll add you in there in the next video after the video... <laughs> two videos on, anyway, from when you asked. <laughs> from Delana, ah. Please add me for any mission. All your videos. I want to be an engineer. You shall be an engineer. Just work hard. And you'll be a Kerbal engineer. <laughs> but no problem. We'll be adding you. Hilltop Gaming. Oh, Peter. Can you watch my new videos? I'll take a peek. No promises. Been busy. Don't forget. <laughs> Christmas time coming up. Odilon Tolemonde. Hi, Orbiter. I can. Can I have a Kerbal, please? <laughs> No problem. Loads of adding curls today. From the Brazilian hacker. God damn it! God damn it, Captain! I came so late. Sorry, Obeta. Love your videos. <laughs> yeah, he's normally the one who first comments. And if you wonder what that weird transition there was, we'd done a couple of orbits to reduce the speed, and then finally we came into the atmosphere. However, I. <laughs> I thought I was recording, but the recording stopped when we came into the atmosphere, so I couldn't record most of the descent. So we're going to have to make do with a water landing. Right, from Dever, from Devon Arvalo, if you have the time, could you please design and build an ocean bottom laboratory and put me in it? 
that's what I was trying to do with this, was make this an in the water laboratory as well. Oh yeah, this is part is a bit weird. I had to put some cheats on because I knew this was going to explode the base otherwise. Yes, I preset it so the joints didn't get destroyed. And the base doesn't get destroyed. There you go. Now the cheats are off. That was the only cheats I used to get in your other than quick load and quick save. <laughs> oh man. Things we do for a couple of science. Error from snag to cookie 10. Sweet! I'm not sure. Did I land on Moho? Or am I up on the return craft? I think you're on the return craft. And when are your streams? And how do I access them? Well, there should be notifications on YouTube. I do have a Twitter account which tweets it and I'm also on Google Plus which should give a notification. Other than that, just keep an eye out on Sunday evenings. Um, that's evenings for GMT time, about 8 o'clock. Anyway, keep up the great vids, thanks. From Bradley Brennett. Hi Orbiter, I think I asked Alu a long time ago to be included in Kerbal Quest video, but I haven't watched in a long time as well, so I'm not sure... If you have, I apologize if you already have sent me to space, but I asked you to send me to lathe, please. And I replied to him, I checked and I found you in the dual system, but on my list it didn't say where you're going. Oh my god, look at that ocean. It looks so realistic sometimes. And this is just a game. This is this is one of the mods, um, environmental uh, visual enhancement mods that I've added to this. This is 1.1.3 version so it's not 1.2 but yeah that was cool anyway at this point I think what we could do well actually I think I come down for another water landing for some reason <laughs> anyway let's get into some comments as we doing that we're gonna go for a land landing as well test that out from Foxtail 737 thank you for making me a pilot orbiter I'm sorry for landing, for the landing by the way, I love the guitar I gave you though, <laughs> no problem. At least you'll be able to, you're able to fix the lander, otherwise you'll not be able to get Kerbals returning to Kirby. From Lego Wan Wan. Need more comments? To read? Question mark. Here's one. Thank you for your comment. Your comment has now been read. From Jonathan Tyne. When will I be a Kerbal on the Quail Guest? Send a big rover to Elo, ensure it to have me and other Kerbals, and add science equipment. Well, the next episode, we're not going back to Elo. In fact, where, where did I decide to go? Was it Lathe? No, we've been to Lathe. We were going to crack on with building a base around Paul in the dual system. So I think that's what we'll do next time. We'll send a mission. We'll put a space station first around Paul. That'll be our main mission, I think. Anyway, from BTG02. You should experiment with ion engines. I've been doing a bunch. I'm made a basics craft, which uses only a tiny portion of its fuel to achieve sonic scope. I tend to make a lander and then strap some ion engines, transfer stages to the sides and travel anywhere with ears. I think that's what I'll do. I'll experiment. We'll have to build a craft with a load of iron engines. It has to be a large craft. Nothing small. No, 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 nothing small. <laughs> he said to the, once you do that, you'll never go back. <laughs> yeah, we'll give it a go. From De Jing De Jong. Fill the moho with kerbals. I would, but the crack would eat them all up. <laughs> From Chubby Cat. Can I be sent on the next mission? Just use my YouTube name. Scientist, please. Thanks. No problem, you'll be on the next mission on the space station around Paul. From Snag Cookie 10, moly cow. This is the best pun ever. <laughs> From Ventral Spoon 67. Your Kespia videos are the best. I watch them every day, not joking. <laughs> it would be fun to go to space as a Kerbal, love your vids. No problem. And you don't have to tell me that uh, you watch my videos all the time. It's okay. All you have to do is ask to be Kerbal and say, you're the awesome guy in the world. You know, you don't have to do that bit. But yeah, just ask. I don't mind. You know, no prejudice against someone starting to watch now and ask, yeah, I want to be Kerbal. 
Error from messy school thing. Hello, please. Play my summer car. It was great for engineers. Semi car. Is that a game? I'm assuming that's a game. I'll have to have a look at it. I've never heard of it before, so I'm gonna have to definitely look into it. If there is an engineering game, that might be cool. But there are other games I want to play, and I haven't got time to do. I almost barely have enough time to do this in a live stream in a week. From Melon Gaming. Can I send me on a rover to dress? <laughs> Call my Kerbal. Connell Broccoli. <laughs> no problem, yes, you can send your Kerbal to <laughs> Dres. I'm assuming you want me to send your Kerbal to Dres? No problem. As I said, it might be a while before we get to Dres. We'd have to change the way we add Kerbals, I think, at some point. When we transfer to the new version of KSP, which is version 1.2.2 at the current version, we'll have to do a different system. I was thinking of each episode we say, oh, these are the Kerbals have been added, we'll launch them up to a space station in orbit, and they'll stay there until their allotted mission comes up. Something like that. Anyway, last comment from Andermost Fiber 3. Wait! Can you submit our names? And we come on missions with you? That is awesome! By the way, can I be one? <laughs> also, love your videos. One helps me get to the man. I crashed twice. <laughs> Keep that up, dude. Oh yeah, this I pinned this comment because of that. <laughs> Say one of your, one of your videos helped me get to the man. I crashed twice. <laughs> oh man. I'm not saying that you're bad. I'm saying that perhaps my video could be improved. Because my man going to the man mission uh video. I think was in the version before what 0.90 or something the tutorial and that was before they introduced the atmospheric drag properly in the game anyway we'll land it let's close the balloons up that is awesome landing this base works hmm the things we could do with this in fact I did have the idea of perhaps having a docking port on the top or the bottom of the craft we could use a rocket, get into the atmosphere, dock it to one of the docking ports, and then we can lower it down with this, release it on the ground, and hey, there you go. And then we can also use that system to return the craft. Because what we could do is get the airbase as high as possible in the atmosphere. That means it should use less fuel to get into orbit around Eve. However, I'm not sure how good that would be. We might as well just per rocket, large rocket, with the air, um, oh, what do you got, balloons, that we can send it up on its own without having an airbase. And the airbase would then just be an extra, I don't think, to do. And if you're wondering what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get the Kerbal to jump. I think, I keep on thinking, perhaps I'm too close to the base and he's not jumping, but I realise that he's nowhere near the base, underneath the base. And the reason why he looks like he's hitting his head is because the gravity is so high on Eve. And he can't jump so high. So what we'll have to do by here, lower the base and, uh, no goops. So, uh, I didn't realize where it exploded. It was one of the landing legs. Now I know. It's a good thing I record these, otherwise I'd never realize half the things I do on these missions. Anyway, let's get, quickly get the Kerbal on board. Quick grab. Quick get into the pod. And if you wonder what those pods are underneath, they're escape pods. The Kerbal's gonna jump in them. They'll be released into the wild and then the Kerbals will float down safely. Obviously we could have a load more Kerbals on this base. However, I'm not still not too sure about this design, especially using the heat shields because two parts of the base exploded. I think we may have been lucky with the EVE mission, uh, with the LATE mi air base mission. Anyway, if you liked the video, crank that like button like an engineer. And subscribe if you want to have more Kerbal faces. Why, well, I don't know, add your comments and whatnot to be a Kerbal. I'm Orbeta. Trust me, I'm an engineer. And man, those mountains look beautiful.